of Beauty to Bank, the number one place on the web where beauty professionals learn how to make money without standing behind the chair. I am your host, Season Bennett. I'm the CEO of The Social Barber, super passionate about helping beauty professionals reach their goals. We've got a great show for you today. We've got celebrity hairstylist, entrepreneur, all around beauty mogul, Kim Kimball here today with us. So please stay tuned. Um, we've got an amazing show. Super excited about this one. I know we've been waiting for this one, okay? Um, I had an amazing weekend. You see, I've got my, my curls for the summer and the beach. I just got back from Cancun. It was my um, 12th wedding anniversary. I was celebrating in Cancun with my husband, um, who is a barber. And it was it was amazing. We stayed at Secrets the Vine. We had an amazing time. The food was good. The sun was good. We did a little snorkeling, rode the speedboats. But the biggest thing that I want to share with you was that while I was on vacation, I still was making money, okay? And I know, I know, I know I talk about money all the time, but it's important that you understand that there are other ways to make money without providing services, okay? So I have my systems set up. So while I was on vacation, enjoying myself, shopping and eating good food and sleeping and ordering room service and having, having a little, little drink, a little drink or two um, with, my, with my husband, um, I was still making money. I would literally get PayPal notifications, strike notifications, you know, my shopping cart, was still going. People were still purchasing while I was on vacation. And so I want to share this with you because this is something that I didn't experience. You know, I spent 20 years in corporate America, um, you know, and I had to trade my time for money. Okay. And so during that time, yes, I had paid vacation, but my husband, who is a barber, um, my husband didn't get paid while we were gone. Okay. And so my husband didn't get paid while we were, while he was on vacation. And so I want to make sure that I share this with you and talk to you about this because it's not just about, you know, some people will say to me, oh, well, season, I don't need a lot of money. You know, they'll say, well, season, I don't need a lot of money. I don't need a lot of things. I, uh, I'm not telling you what to do with your money, but I want you to have the freedom to do the things that you want to do. I want you to take more vacations and not feel like, well, gosh, I can afford to go on vacation. But while I'm on vacation, I'm also not only spending money to go on vacation, but I'm also missing out on money. Okay. So that's what I don't want you to do. Okay. Um, want to remind you, I am taking this virtual show on the road, um, this Beauty to Bank weekly show. We're turning it into a two-day virtual conference, June 27th and 28th. Um, you know, click the link in the description here, and you can actually go ahead, or in the bio, depending on where you're watching, and you can actually go ahead and, and get a free ticket, okay? There are a limited number of free tickets. If you want to find out more about how to make money without standing behind the chair, we definitely want to see you there, all right? Well, let's get started. Um, the topic for today is about mindset, okay? Um, people don't talk about this enough when it comes to entrepreneurship, but listen, entrepreneurship is, is it really absolutely is a challenge to your mindset, 
All right. So I want to talk to you about majoring in mindset. Okay. So I went to college. I have, you know, a couple different degrees from math to software development. I have a certificate in software project management and some other, other boring stuff. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, but I want you to really think um, about your mindset as something that you major in. It's absolutely that important, just like it would be a college degree, something that you need for a job. You need to have the proper mindset for entrepreneurship, okay? Mindset is everything when you're reaching your goals, okay? It starts with you believing in yourself, okay? Um, one of the things that I had to do with this when I realized that this was really the key to success is that I had to brainwash myself with positivity. Okay. And I want to invite you to do that. I know it sounds scary when people use the word brainwash, but, um, basically what I used to do is I used to listen to really positive videos, affirmations, just, you know, maybe even avoiding things that were negative, even if it was the news. I know this is controversial, but you know, we really have to think about ourselves and how to protect ourselves and our own mindset. So, um, I used to listen to positive videos. I used to listen to books on tape. Yes, absolutely. I did. And it was so interesting because I used to listen to these tapes all the time when I was exercising, when I was, I had actually put them on when I was sleeping. Yes, I would. I would listen to them when I was sleeping, when I was cooking, when I was putting on my makeup and just really just change my mindset. Okay. And, and I didn't grow up with positive thinking. I know that that might sound weird, but that is not how I was raised. And I, I had to realize this myself and I realized that just like when we exercise and we want to get six packs, we want to get strong, we want to get hamstrings or calves or whatever it is that you're trying to get, we also have to treat a positive mindset like a muscle. You have to develop it and you have to continue to exercise it just because you feel like, hey, I feel positive now. I feel good. I feel like I've mastered this, this mindset you still have to continue to exercise it. Just like in the gym, if you don't exercise, guess what? You lose your muscles. So continue to exercise and practice positivity, all right? Even check yourself. Sometimes when certain things happen, I think sometimes we're very prone to think about something in a negative way and even try to challenge yourself and, and give other individuals space, okay? Think about something in, in another way. Give other, other people grace instead of just jumping to the negative, okay? Um, now if you can believe it, you can achieve it. You've heard this over and over and over again in your lifetime, I'm sure. Um, but the first person that you have to convince is yourself. I see so many entrepreneurs and, you know, they're complaining about how, oh, my family doesn't believe in me. I don't have my family support and just on and on and on. And that doesn't matter. Your family does not have to be your customers. Your family did not ask you to go into business, okay? You just need to have, um, you know, think about um, yourself and what you want to achieve, okay? Stop worrying about what other people think. Those other people are not going to, they're not going to help you reach your goal. It's literally only you. You are the only person that matters, okay? Um, I want you to get tunnel vision, Okay. Let me talk to you about what tunnel vision is. And, and I actually had one of my mastermind students and I talking about this. Um, when you're online, you will be confronted with all kinds of information and it can become very confusing to you. Okay. Um, figure out what your goals are and just stick to that one thing. A lot of times consuming a whole bunch of different information can become confusing and it can cause you to become overwhelmed, fragmented, distracted. I just, I talked about this in, in the show where um, we talked about how Google could be your problem, okay? So if other people's social media content, if their posts are a distraction to you, stop looking at it, okay? And a lot of social media strategists and other people will uh, disagree with me, but post what you got to post for your business. We still want to advertise for our business, schedule it, but you don't have to consume all of that content. If it becomes um, overwhelming to you, if you start to look at somebody else's success and it makes you look down on your own, don't look at theirs. Stop looking at it. Stop looking at it and focus on your goals. Everybody's goal is different. Just focus on what you want to achieve and don't worry about what other people are doing, thinking, or accomplishing. 
it's a distraction from your goal. Okay. The last thing I want to share with you is that I want you to write your goals down. There is something that happens when you write things down. And when I say write it down, I'm not just talking about typing it into the notes in your phone, like literally take pen and paper. I always have this notepad here. My producers are probably going to kill me, but I always have some type of a book. I always carry with me and a pen. Okay. And write these things down, write down what you want to achieve, write it down as if it's already happened. I've never seen anyone accomplish a goal that they did not set for themselves. It does not happen like that. You have to set your intentions on what you want to accomplish. All right. So I am going to put a link here with, um, you know, I have some goal setting sheets. I'm going to go ahead and put these into the description as well, um, into the comments. So if you guys want to go ahead and use my goal setting sheet, it works for anything from finances, losing weight, whatever it is that you want to do. I do have a sheet. I will go ahead and drop it into the description so that you can go ahead and download it yourself. Um, but I really want you to set these goals. All right. Um, we're going to go ahead and um, stop for a little commercial break here. Pause. We want to hear um, a word from our sponsors. Share, share. Licensed beauty and barbering professionals can find professional space to work with no long-term commitment or contract. Simply browse, book, and work. Choose your city, workspace type, amenities, and dates across almost 500 cities. Prices start at just $25 a day. Keep more of your hard-earned money. Download the ShareShare app for free at ShareShare.com. All right. I love ShareShare. I use it for my own barbershop. I always like to think, you know, Airbnb meets your barbershop. You can just make money off of the empty booths that you have already. Um, people can just rent them by the day. So it's super dope concept. Um, but, okay, talking about mindset, shifting over to my next guest. Um, I want to play this video because this, if you've ever questioned mindset, this video should do it for you. Hi, I'm Kimberly Kimball. I'm 18 years old and I am from Chicago, Illinois. I'm currently a student at Universal Beauty College. And in the future, I plan to get a degree in fashion design and have a chain of beauty salons. Okay. All right. We're back. All right. So listen, if that proves to you that mindset is everything, setting your intention, your goals and everything else, that video should tell everything about my next guest. I don't even have time to list all of the accolades of uh, celebrity hairstylist, Kim Kimball. She's worked with some of the top celebrities in the world from Beyonce to Oprah, um, she's been, she's had her own reality show for five seasons on WeTV, LA Hair. Um, what hasn't she done from having a product line in Sally's to now having her own product line in Walmart? Um, we're going to talk to her about all of this. Let's see. I can't even list everything right now. So Kim, are you there? Kim? All right. Welcome, Kim. Thank you so much for joining me on the Beauty to Bank live show. What's up, season? What's going on? Hey, Kim Campbell. <laughs> now, we have spent far too much time together. So I, I so know, we got, so. we've done this way too many times, but let's do it again. That's hey. right. That's right. That's right. We always have fun and I get to, I'm going to give you them a little behind the scenes. When Kim and I go out of town, I am her designated menu picker. So if she, <laughs> for the late night snacks, I, I have to pick the snacks, okay? <laughs> and I'm, I'm pretty, I mean, I have an undefeated score though, I think. I'm pretty undefeated. Like I think I'm, I'm 10 and for you 10. Know, I'm hard to please, honey. I'm hard to please. Same I can't here. remember that place in Atlanta. Remember that place you found? It, it was something about butter. Something about butter. Yes, honey, <laughs> butter. <laughs> it was so good too. But yes, I think, you know, she, you trust my taste bud. So it's good. It's good. <laughs> um, okay. So let's talk about beauty to bank. So um, I 
you just have had just the most amazing career. Um, you know, you hear me say this all the time and I know you're so humble. So I love to brag on you, but, um, you know, just so many amazing things, um, just, you know, from, you know, uh, the home shopping network, QVC, um, you know, head of hair for, um, a wrinkle in time, um, you know, gosh, so many amazing Beyonce projects, Lemonade, um, I mean, oh, I'm missing 500 of them right now. All the Super yeah. Bowls. Yes, yeah. all the Super Bowls. So <laughs> now you're really, you've been doing a lot of focusing on, you know, your products. Like you've, you've got your products in a couple different places. Can you talk about that? You know, I'm an entrepreneur at heart as well. Listen, I love doing hair. And of course, being a hairstylist has turned me into an entrepreneur, basically trying to solve problems for my customers and all the people on my social media. I get so many DMs about what to do about my hair. How can I get, you know, uh, my natural hair to act right? I got 4C, I got low porosity, all these things. And so it started me into creating hair care products. Um, and, and the great thing is my experience of being a hairdresser, not only in a salon, but working on a lot of sets. I, you know, I work with all different types of people and I have, you know, have so much experience in hair in not only taming it, but maintaining the health of the hair during, you know, my time working with them because that's super important to me. And I don't know, I just love being an entrepreneur. Um, I'm inspired by so many women that came before me and that are entrepreneurs like Madam C.J. Walker, Annie Malone, all these uh, fantastic women who are just, you know, driven. And so I've created, um, you know, I've had Kim Kimball Signature Collection, which is my line that I sell on my website. But recently we developed a uh, hair care line in Walmart. It's exclusive to Walmart. That line is really for people who have low porosity hair, really dry hair that rocking this natural hair. There's so many issues with people trying to find the right products to style their natural hair and to make their hair look great. We also sell tools uh, as well there. So we do wet goods and tools at Walmart, which is really, really cool because I'm like the first African-American to do both, um, you know, to have such a nice big launch at, at their store. So it, it's been really, really a great opportunity. And then we also exclusive at Sally's. Um, we do, Sally's is more, you know, geared toward professional um, hair care uh, because it, you know, it's like, it's a beauty supply, but, you know, it's definitely open to consumers who want that quality of uh, professional hair care. So I have been, you know, I love making products. I love stirring stuff up in my kitchen, you know, and, and just, you know, creating products to really solve the issues of hair that most people have, I love doing it. And so that's like my, that's my entrepreneur. That's my beauty to the bank. <laughs> well, oh, I have to say, yes, absolutely. I have to say that I know this for sure. Uh, if I could share some of the conversations that we had, yes. listen, y'all, Kim loves creating. She loves creating products. And so I like, literally she loves it. Like, I mean, I've never seen anybody take on these huge projects. And I mean, all the different products that you have created from, like you said, I don't even know they were called this. What did you say it was called? Wet, wet products? Wet goods. Wet goods to, mm -hmm. what was the other one? Tools. I mean, I also have a line of, I'm launching a line of silk nighttime care because a lot of people don't talk about nighttime hair care. And then there's also another side, which kind of got birthed out of, the pandemic is digital products. We've been worked on digital products together as well. So that, you know, I'm a busy girl, busy. You, you know what, Kim, I'm laughing when you're talking about the silk stuff. Okay. You guys, I'm going to put this in the comments. Okay. I'm going to drop this picture in the comments from, you remember when you went to the home shopping network mm -hmm. and you were on the air and <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing every time I think about this. When the girl had on the bonnet like a beret on the air. I, the I thought it was cute. 
<laughs> and you better go ahead because you know we, it, I sell silk bonnets on HSN. They do very well there because I think it's so important once you get your hair done and you got your hair, you know, extensions put in or I wear your own natural hair. How do I take care of my hair at night? I use silk pillowcases, silk bonnets, and I am such an advocate of 100% silk, you know, because I, 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 I like what it does to the hair. So I, we sell a line of that on HSN. Um, and it has been great, but it was really cute that she actually stylized it because, you know, when I was on LA Hair and I first talked about bonnets and shower caps, they were all trying to hate on me about the way they look, you know, that, oh, this ain't cute. It's not cute. Listen, I designed them so they can be as cute. This is cute as it's going to get <laughs> when it comes to like tying your hair down at night. So, you know, that was my mission is to prove them wrong that, hey, you know, you can still be cute by tying, tying your hair down at night. You don't have to look bad and you don't have to have busted hair in the morning. You spend all that money on getting your hair done and you want to make sure that your hair looks fabulous when you wake up in the morning. You know, Beyonce didn't say I woke up like this for nothing. Shoot, put that bonnet on and wake up fabulous like me. Kimball eyes, tell me. That's right. That's right. Okay. Look, and you guys see she is secured. Okay. You are secured over there. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, it is secure. And berries running out of my hair. That's please right. It is are. always. And it's this gorgeous. Is wrong, what you trying to say, season? Always. We never know what Kim. So what's her name? Because we never know what Kim we're gonna get. And that's the most fabulous part about all of it. Like I I mean, teach me, okay? Teach me. <laughs> Listen, I need you, to know. You think of Kim Kimball, you think of all things hair. You think of uh, nighttime hair care, wet goods, tools, and wigs. Boom. That's Baby. right. And this is <laughs> okay. So, do you and you sell wigs also, right? Yeah, we're starting to launch it. We're going to launch a wig. I mean, we we sell hair and wigs in our store, um, and we're so we're just starting to get ready to put it on our website um and in retail wigs but we we would that our salon was more like a salon that serviced all kinds of things but we were really big in extensions and wigs um you know for a lot of our customers because I remember you and I did a giveaway online before and you oh. had yes the wig, remember we the wig of fortune honey <laughs> Yes. You guys have to go back, check out on her Instagram, on her IGTV. You guys can see what we did. It was funny, but um, yeah. So you had so many fabulous wigs and um, you know, I mean, I, I know you love all things hair and it's just, it just seems so fun to me, you know, coming from, from a corporate background, um, you know, hair just seems like so much fun. And I think it's so dope. Like, I think you're definitely a person who has taken, every facet of the hair game and said, okay, hmm, what about this? What about that? Okay, let's do wigs. Let's do movies. Let's do the Super Bowl. Let's do Paris Fashion Week. Let's do all kinds of, I mean, just crazy, amazing things, you know? So a lot of people may or may not know, you mentioned a little bit that you do have an online school. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, I know this is something, um, you know, you and I <laughs> have gone back and forth on, but, um, Last year, you really amped it up with your school. Mm -hmm. And um, I just wanted you to kind of share a little bit. I know we have a lot of crazy conversations and we have, we do have crazy conversations, but I wanted you to, you know, really kind of share with everybody, you know, the importance of digital products, how you feel about them, how they fit into the Kim Kimball brand. Well, you know, during the pandemic, salons were closed. Uh, <laughs> I, there was no freelance work, no movies. Everything was shut down. The whole world has shut down. And um, there was no other way to, you know, make an income other than digital. So that's when we boosted up more of our online, more of our products, because, you know, stores were still open. You can get products in stores. Um, but also creating classes, educational, um, online consultations, uh, started moving more towards digital um, products. And then, of course, we've already, we've created some great uh, digital classes, you and I, and then there was digital templates and products and things like that. Because I think that if something happens like that, you know, there's nothing like having um, a, a product that you can sell digitally for a couple of reasons, because you can do that in your sleep. <laughs> um, and then you also, you know, it doesn't cost you a lot of money up front 
to, you know, like when you try to make products and hair products and hair extensions, you've got to spend a lot of money um, creating that product. And then you also have to spend a lot of money marketing it. So with a digital product, you just market it. And you can also market it, market it digitally, which um, is a great opportunity for some, you know, something different too. I love it because it's something different. Uh, you can create whatever you want digitally. You can do digital books. Like we did a book class. Um, then there's also some digital templates. We did a class on um, how to be a celebrity hairstylist. And so, it, you know, it, with digital, they go back and they can watch it again. And then you could really take it in and, and learn a lot from this whole, and they've been doing it all over, you know, the internet, you can, you can always learn something. So I just think that being a part of that is a great uh, way to just have another business. You know me, I always got a side hustle or two. I'm the girl of side hustles. You know that. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, it's always something new and fresh. You always love to put your own spin on it. Um, so I know you have your um, how to become a celebrity hairstylist. You've got your ebook um, about you know the same topic as well. But um, you have these templates, so I don't want to brush over that because I want to make sure that people really understand what mm -hmm. it means. Um, so the templates are were dope, right? They're really dope. Um, obviously, I get to see them firsthand. Um, but I, I want to see if you can talk about a little bit about what it is, what are the purpose of the templates, how people can use them so they understand what it is. Yeah, the templates are like, say, for example, if you're running, trying to run a business or run a salon, because during the, that time I was doing a lot of mentoring. So people were able to book me through Booksy and book a mentor session. And a lot of them had questions about salons and how do I start up a salon? How do I run a salon? And I know how difficult it is to, to get all the paperwork that you need and get a salon started. So we have these templates that kind of help you have, you know, the paperwork that you need. Like, you know, it, it just kind of gives you the daily um, regimen of how to run a salon. Like there has list in there on how to, you know, create a list and give it to your receptionist so she knows how to um, come in. It's like leaving a lot of structure for your employees that work for you. And so we kind of have all of that mapped out in the templates and certain paperwork things you need to leave like letters, you know, when they need to take off um, for different various reasons and setting goals and all these things that a business needs. And so we made it so easy by creating these templates and all you gotta do is just kind of put your name on it and then boom, you've got your own templates to start and run your business. So I think it's super important to have, it's just things that you don't have to try to gather on your own. We have, you know, we've done the work for you. And I think that is a great way to, um, you know, share to people. So I, so like all my mentees out there, listen, you asked, we did it, we got it, check it out. That's right. And it just makes it easy. It's just that they can use them over and over. They can print them out. They can put their logo on them. Um, it's, it's dope. Okay. It's, I love it, love it, love it. Um, and it's something that people, it's easier. It's, you know, instant. They can just purchase it right on KimballUniversity.com. And very inexpensive, I must say. It's not right. a lot of money. Right. <laughs> you know, That's to right. get all, all that done for you just makes your life easier. Okay. So everybody's going crazy in the comments. I have to ask you if you can give, um, you know, spill some tea on how someone would go about getting into a Sally's or a Walmart. Everyone is asking in the comments. They're going to kill me if I don't ask you this question. So can you just give a little bit of information? We have a lot of beauty professionals who want to start a line and they want to get, you know, into these large big box stores for distribution. Can you talk about how do you go about that? Oh, I can just say it's not an easy task. <laughs> And it was one thing, and actually what's the hardest part is not getting in, is staying in uh, once you get in there. So you have a lot of work set out for you, but a couple of things you're going to probably need. Once you get a product and you've got your product and you, you're you ready to, to pitch it to a buyer. So you have to pitch your product to a buyer. Um, now you could do this through a distribution, a distributor that works with, the, with these um, buyers and that know all these buyers. Um, or, you know, basically you have to sit down basically with a buyer. You could go to a show that has, um, there's a couple of trade shows that have, uh, you know, 
set where you can go and you can actually meet with a buyer, talk to a buyer and picture yourself. But you get your pitch ready, talk about your product, um, what makes your product different from others? Why should they buy your product? And what's the most important thing? They want to know how you're going to sell through this product. So you've got to have your marketing plan and, and all of that put together when you are sitting in front of a buyer and you're going to pitch your product. Um, and then, so again, you know, that's one of the ways you kind of can sell your, your product, but you got to put a, it's a whole thing. You got to put a nice presentation together, a nice deck. Um, and then again, you've got to have a lot of questions answered, ready to answer questions. It's like Shark Tank. If you ever watch Shark Tank, it's kind of like that. A little tense, you know, and a lot of questions and you've got to have the answers uh, to those questions. And again, like the most important thing is how you, how that product is going to sell through because that's the most important thing. How are you going to actually sell through this product in the store? Because like I said, it's it's hard getting in, but it's even harder to stay in. And so staying in is super important that you have a marketing strategy uh, put together and that you really um, are driving your customer and know your customer and drive them to the store. Wow. Okay. So that was a huge gem right there because I think a lot of people feel like, okay, I'm in the store, I'm done. And you're saying that your once you're in done. <laughs> right, you have to keep marketing and you have to keep driving people uh -huh. to the lot. store. Mm -hmm. That is, wow. That is something that I think a lot of people would be surprised. If you are surprised about this, drop a one in the comments, okay? Because um, I think that that is huge, Kim. Um, and not to mention, there's so many things you have to do when you're in there. It's just a lot of paperwork and a lot of business stuff. But listen, nothing's, nothing, you know, nothing worth it is easy. So just put your big girl panties on or big boy panties on, wherever you are, um, and, and get to work. Okay. Okay. I hear you. Okay. So last question. Okay. I think I said the last one was last, but I have one more, one more last question here. What is next for Kim Kimball? Oh, I got a lot of stuff brewing. I got a lot of stuff brewing. I mean, it's hard to say because it's, you know, I want to kind of announce it when the time is, when, when the time is upon us, but I am busy doing, I have a lot of uh, things going on, but you know, we're continuing to sell product through Walmart and through Sally's. Um, and then, you know, we're gonna, you know, go back to HSN and launch some new things on HSN. Um, and then we're going to, you know, have a couple of things that I don't wanna say yet, but I got some stuff coming up that I'm excited about. Um, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. But right now she's busy back in her, um, lab cooking up some products and tools for you guys is some other thing okay kim come on now you got to give us a little more than that got to give us a little more okay so one of the biggest questions i know you always get is about uh, people seeing you on tv again yeah i've got a couple things television wise that i'm working okay, on okay okay i saw that little i saw the little it's eye coming. movement to the side it's coming it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> Because, okay, you, know, you guys. Yeah, creating, yeah. creating a couple of a couple of shows coming coming up. One digital show coming up. You know. All Ooh. right, okay. I see you. I see you. Okay, okay. I'm I, I'm gonna let it, you guys. I guess I'm gonna let her off the hook with this one. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna um you know we're gonna stay tuned into you, Kim. Um, you know, we're definitely going, you know, we'd love to have you back anytime you want to come back and talk about whatever new thing you got going on. You know, you're always welcome here at Beauty to Bank. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. God bless everyone. Thank you, Susan. All right. If that doesn't motivate you, I don't know what does. Okay. Kim Kimball is actually one of the speakers at the Beauty to Bank virtual conference. It's a two-day conference and everything is surrounded about making money without standing behind the chair, okay? She's just one of our amazing speakers. Let me show you more on that event now.
All right, we're back. I'm super excited about this Beauty to Bank virtual conference. We do have a limited number of free tickets. We're taking this weekly show on the virtual road. And Kim Kimball is one of our speakers. We've also got, oh my goodness, I just so many amazing people. We've also got the biz lawyer who actually did my trademark, Rosina um, Pierce. And she will actually be a speaker as well, talking to you about how you can secure your brand, as well as Terry Ijoma is talking about how to invest. So she it does travel and trade. So she loves to travel and she's able to fund her lifestyle from trading stocks. So she's going to be a speaker as well. We've got DL Master Barber, Millionaire Barber. Oh my gosh, Queen of Nails. Um, it's just the lineup is amazing. Okay. Make sure that you click the link in the bio, the link in the description, wherever you're watching and make sure that you go ahead and register for your free ticket. You do not want to miss this. You're going to get so many resources, so much information about how, you know, you can make money on vacation like I did and, and make money without standing behind the chair, you know, with the shutdowns that happened last year, it was, crazy. You know, when you have a recession proof business, like a barber shop or a hair salon or a service based business where you feel like people are always going to need services, who could ever plan around a pandemic? Like it's, it just doesn't happen, right? Once in a hundred year pandemic. But I think it was a blessing really to, you know, beauty professionals in a way of shifting your mindset and, and thinking about how to make money in different ways. Now, I obviously would never wish this on anyone. There are a lot of people did struggle. And that's why I'm so, so adamant and passionate about helping people understand that there are other ways to make money. You know, having digital products from ebooks to templates like Kim has, um, you know, you can make social media templates, you can make business templates, you can make forms template forms, all of that. We'll be talking about all of that on the conference. It's absolutely free. Two days. Um, Sunday, January, uh, I keep saying January, June 27th to um, Monday, June 28th. It's from 1 to 9 p.m. We have a plethora of speakers. We've even got the uh, co-founders of ShareShare, Dr. Ty Caldwell and Courtney Caldwell. Love them. Um, and they're going to be talking about their app and, and just having a startup and all that good stuff, giving people information. Their app isn't just about renting um, out your space online. They've also got so many resources for uh, beauty business owners from uh, how to file your taxes and keeping records. And they've just got tons of resources for beauty industry professionals. They're going to be talking about that. Um, you know, obviously Millionaire Barber is going to be talking about opening up a school. I mean, it's just, it's so much, so amazing. Um, so many good things. Do not want to miss that. Okay. Um, also, I want to invite you to join my free masterclass on Wednesday. Go ahead and, and click the link in the description and or in the bio and register for my free masterclass. Um, you know, I've had my online school since 2015, and it literally took me until 2020 to where I can make six figures with digital content alone. So I, it took me a long time to kind of figure out how it worked. It's super different. It's a whole different world. And in the masterclass, I'm going to break down my system and show you how you can do it. It does not have to take you five years. It does not have to take you that long. Um, you know, come to the masterclass. You're going to find out what type of things that you can sell. Um, find out some of the mistakes that I made. I made a lot of mistakes and it really cost me money. It really cost me a lot of money because that was money that I did not make, right? Um, it, it really literally cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars not getting a mentor, not talking to somebody, not, you know, just trying to figure it out on my own, you know? And and I'll, I'll admit that was a big mistake that I made. I felt like, oh, well, Susan, you're a technical and you've got all this experience in corporate America. You literally know how to code. You can figure this out on your own. Like, you don't need a teacher. And that was something that cost me a lot of money. So I don't want you guys to, to spend too much time trying to figure it out on your own. Come to the free master class. Um, and I will break it all down for you and you will have all the information. All right. So 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here. This episode of Beauty to Bank um, for me was super amazing. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Um, you know, drop a one in the comments if you enjoyed it as much as I did. I mean, you know, I love um, spending time and picking Kim Kimball's brain. Hope we're going to have to get her back on here. Um, but this was super amazing. Please go ahead. Um, like this, share this, subscribe, make sure that you follow my page. Um, and, and we're going to be bringing this type of content to you every week. If there's someone that you, you would like to see on here, let me know, drop into my DMS. I actually do better with DMS than texting. Um, and guess what? I will see you on the next episode of beauty to bank. Mm -hmm.